everyone and good evening. In the last session, we saw how we can launch an application manager using client.jar. In today's session, we will show you how to capture an order in OMS using API and integration server. Let me show you how we can create order using create order API. For that, we will use IBM HTTP API tester which is used to test any new services created or existing API. To open IBM HTTP tester, um, go to any browser and type the URL. As we can see, the IBM HTTP API tester is open. Now let's select the create order API in API name from the dropdown list. Here is our API name and enter the user ID and password. I will give the user ID as admin and password as password. After this, give the input XML for order creation. We have an XML for order creation. I will just copy paste this XML in message box and click on test API now. Now we can see uh, the output XML of order creation. It shows our order is being created. Here we can see the order number. This is our order number. Let's check in IBM Sterling supply chain application. IBM Sterling supply chain application provides a user friendly web portal that automates manual B2B transaction. Open IBM Sterling supply chain application in Internet Explorer and give the login ID and password. I will give the login ID as admin and password as password and sign in. This is our IBM Sterling supply chain application. In this go to order, order console. Select the document type as sales order, which is already been selected and paste the order number, which we have copied. And just click on search. Here we can see that the order has been successfully created. So this was the first way to create an order by using the or create order API. Now to demonstrate how we can create order by using integration server, I am going to invite Tejas. Hi everyone, my name is Tejas Bhasi Shankar. So now let's move forward to the second part. The second way to create the order is by using integration server. Let's see what is an integration server. An integration server is a process that manage asynchronous services such as messages to and from the external platform. First, we have to create synchronous service. For that, we must launch the application manager. We already shown how to launch application manager. You can watch the previous videos if you want to learn how to launch application manager. In my local platform, my application manager is already open. So let's go to the application, application platform then process modeling, order fulfillment, and service definition. Now let's create a synchronous service by clicking on plus tab. Give the service name as I am giving demo, create order, and service group name as demo and click on the synchronous mode. So here as we can see our asynchronous service is created. So now click on the service and go to the component part and select API and link all of them as shown. Select the API name from the drop down list.
and save. Now, let's create a synchronous service by clicking on plus time. Give the name as demo. Create order async. And keep the service group name as it is and click on that asynchronous mode. So our asynchronous service is created. So to add JMS queue from the transport type and the composite service from the component and link all of them as shown. Click on that arrow button. Give the service name, sub service name as create order provider URL as PCP. Here we have to connection factory. Initial thread as one. And for the destination name, we have to give dollar and two names. And in the initial contest factory, we have to select active MQ. Let's now go to the server tab and select the server. Now click on the exception tab and we have to give the alert name as demo and default as the alert queue name. And save it. Now click on the composite service and find the synchronous service that we created earlier. Select the demo create order service and save it. Next step, we have to open the system management. For that, go to the tools, click on the trace component. We have to click on add. Here, we need to select this component as a service. And here we need to search a synchronous service that we created earlier. Demo create order async. Yeah, click on apply. Now we have to change the override properties. For that, we need to go to the IBM folder. Run time. Properties. And we need to search for, for the customer override properties and open. So here. Just search for the create order integration queue and add the dynamic queues. And save it. After this, the main part is to start the integration server. To start the integration server, navigate to D drive. 
go to the IBM folder OMS runtime in here open the command prompt run the command start So now we need to start Apache Active MQ. Apache Active MQ is a message queue software that allows turning order management application to transmit with an external platform. To start Active MQ, go to D drive, bin, and here open command prompt. Run the command. To open Active MQ, open Google Chrome. And write localhost. 8186 URL. Click on Manage Active MQ Broker. Click on Queues. Here, I already created the queue, but if you want to create a queue, then you can add the queue name here and like this and you just need to click on create the queue will get created now click on send to file so here we have to send create order xml so as i have the create order m xml I just need to copy and paste here and click on send. Now let's open the log file. As we can see here, we have received an output XML for the order created. Let's search the order number in the logs. So this is our order number. Copy it and let's move to IBM Sterling Supply Chain application. So here, go to orders, order console. We have to paste the order number here and search. As we can see, the order has been created. So that's it for now. We have explored how we can create order through create order API and integration service. In the next week, we will see how we can achieve order modification in the IBM Sterling OMS. 
so subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive the notification for the latest video thank you for your time and stay tuned see you next week bye